What's going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. Today is hopefully going to be a big day. We're going to try and get like 102 acres of corn harvested. I can't remember the last time we've combined that much in one day of corn. Um, with our old combine, the limit was usually about 70 to 80 acres. So we'll see if we can get that done. I'm going to go let my dogs out right now. And then we're gonna go over to John's, check over the combine, and get started. Double check this bin, see if it's ready to go. So we'll go talk to him and see what he wants to do. Although this needs pulled back. Okay. Right there is where we like to position the sweep augers because if we have to, we can use those in the room. It sucks. So my brother Josiah who we actually went and helped get done last fall because uh, there's lines to the elevator. There's really bad lines to the elevator this year because of all the wet corn people are harvesting. So he needed to use our Kubota um, because it can get, he pulls two 750s at a time. So about 1100, no, about 1170 bushel is what I was hauling last year. He might not be able to get quite that much on this year, but he's got to wait in line at the elevator um, and he's, so he wants to have two tractors, two sets of wagons there. That tractor can't get his wagon started. Whereas our Kubota's front wheel assist so it can. The so dad gets to have fun on the 66 again. Doesn't have the same effect. So that tractor is the tractor that my brother picked up. And our nickname for it is one piece at a time because, well, Josiah's put it together from uh, all sorts of different things. It was put together from all sorts of different things before he bought it, and it has an international truck motor in it, so it's got a little bit of everything going on. Mama D's going to be the first cart lady of the day. Oh, and look at that. My stock stomper's broken. This is how I'm going to fix it. So those stock stompers are a piece of crap. Apparently the chain link broke on it and it was not doing its job anymore. We need to get new stock stompers before next year, but well, it didn't happen this year. So when I'm checking over the combine in the morning, this thing got greased yesterday, so I don't have to do that right now. But I always check the coolant level. I kind of do this. And you can see it bouncing up in there. I popped the engine cover up. Check the oil. Right on. There we go. And we always want to make sure there's nothing beside the uh, around the turbocharger here. So it looks good to go. I checked the hydraulic fluid yesterday. We might actually eyeball it again right now. Okay. We're good to go on that and she's full of diesel fuel hopefully enough to do that many acres this thing starts beautifully and 
while we're doing that, we'll acknowledge the system warnings. So one of the things about this combine is going down the road, it goes 19 and a half to 20 mile an hour. And um, I've just noticed that it's, especially when you have, like if you have an eight row head latched onto it, man, it's pretty enjoyable to run down the road. It's just nice and smooth gets with it pretty good um, a little bit different than our old combine was I think he could do about 15 down the road and it was a pretty rough ride although it was better the last year when we had the uh, we tossed tires on it I would have to say for the good years on this combine they don't ride quite as good as the Mitas tires did I don't think um, I definitely think the Mitas might be a better tire Sorry to pull the corn star and everybody sponsored by Goodyear. <laughs> I'm just not 100% sold. But they're okay. got the uh, snoot off here dad ran to uh, a store that's about a half an hour away it's gonna grab a snoot we're gonna put a snoot back on there we're hopefully gonna fix that one up in the off season so we have a spare snoot so this doesn't happen again uh, he's picking up a couple more bolts because I found a couple in here that didn't have spacers and then hopefully we'll be good to go again um, I'm gonna go work on some grain bins and haul some wagons around while he's gone. I got that grain bin door fixed up now. Uh, the problem with it was that it was um, had a gap in the top and corn would have been able to run out. So I took the door off, bent the hinges back flat, and now it closes properly again. So that's ready to go. I'm gonna start hauling wagons. Okay, we got back of the loaded wagon. Now we're gonna dump it.
looks like dad's back with the parts so uh we're hopefully gonna get that put on and get going got a new snoot here so we've got that on we changed out some bolts and washers to make sure none of the other ones are gonna come off and uh we're gonna go eat lunch and then head back to the field all right back from lunch i'm gonna put this camera in sister's tractor so she can get some footage for you and we're gonna go get started well it wasn't quite as fixed as uh we thought it was apparently that bearing on the idler sprocket for the feeder chain was also shot and it went out or all well it, it jammed up and the chain jumped off the second I started the head up. So we had to throw a new um, a new idler sprocket on there and retighten re the chain. Now we're good to go. And I'm buzzing through the field again. Hey guys, so I'm here and I am in the tractor with a gravity wagon behind me. And I'm just chasing Seth around the field. Uh, we're unloading on the go. Right, guys it is after supper time now as you can tell because it's dark and I have my lights on the corn is starting to do a little bit better uh, dad's already gotten full up twice now and we've had well the one time I stopped and I hauled all the wagons up there the second time I stopped we went and ate some homemade pizza for supper that was pretty good um, and then dad got all the wagons emptied out mom brought him some homemade pizza and we are back on the roll again um, we got 105 acres done, so if we're going to finish tonight, we've still got 50 acres to go. Um, so, it won't be a super early one, but you know what? We can get her done. Mom's back in the other tractor for a little bit. And then, sister will be coming out after she does her evening milking. And then, we'll hopefully get wrapped up. It would be nice if we had a second tractor, or I should say a third smaller tractor, because like our 14 is getting worked on right now. If that was um, 
here right now, then Dad would be dumping it to bend with that, and we'd have the Kubota hauling wagons back and forth so that we could keep going a little better. But unfortunately, that's broken, so we just do it with three people and have to wait every once in a while. But we just make do even though we don't have an ice cream car or, you know, a semi or anything like that. Well, Wagon Girl's coming in hot. I figured I'd show you guys this. She's starting to get a little bit of a roll on. Oh, is she gonna beat my uh, great tank full alarm? Time will tell. Just in the nick of time. If I'd have gone like five seconds longer, I'd have run over. This is starting to get pretty good. All right, well, some of you might think it's funny because you're out there running big machines, but we just crossed 100 acres today in our little 2588 with a breakdown. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed. I have three more times through the field and we're done for today and dad should be coming back with the wagon that I need. So, we're getting there. Well, just like that, 105 acres down in a day with a two hour, two hour breakdown. Uh, I don't know what time it is right now. It's 11.30. So we would have, I mean, we've gotten 80 acres done before and gone till one, two in the morning. So that's, I think a pretty good day. Um, we'd have been done by 9.30 if we wouldn't have had a breakdown, so that would have been even better yet. But I'm going to go shooting off down the road now, um, take the combine back, start filling it up, and then I'm going to come out, get all the wagons taken up to Dad so we can get those dumped in a hurry and be done. Alright, combine's going to bed. And we're done with her. Use 1.29 or 1.24 gallon an acre, which isn't too bad. On the way out to pick up the last wagon of yellow corn for the year. Kind of wish it wasn't, but it is. All right, guys. Well, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all next time.